small step taken just now. A very good evening to all of you. Here we are today on the fourth consecutive day of the most important session series of the IEEE Student Pro Career Fair, which is organized and proudly presented by our IEEE Young Professionals Sri Lanka. As you all know, the Student Pro Career Fair is just a few days away. It will be held on 3rd of November from 9 a.m. onwards at Maharagama Youth Center. If you haven't registered for that yet, hurry up and get yourselves registered now. You can find the link in the chat box. Make sure you don't miss the most captivating career fair of the year. So today we are at another important milestone, the Ask Me Anything session with Direct Apple. Let me welcome all the company partners, invitees and participants of, to the amazing session. It's a great pleasure to have you all here today with us. So without further delay, let me hand over the session to the Direct FM, the gold partners of Studpro 5.0 to conduct this session. Over to you. Hi, Namadi. Uh, can you share the... Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, can you show? Uh, let me try. Okay. Okay, I can share. Thank you. Uh, hope everybody can see the screen. Yeah, we can see the screen. Yeah, sure. Let me enable. Okay. It's audible for everybody, right? Okay, guys. Uh, my name is Ruan. I'm uh, uh, the CTO of Direct FN and uh, uh, welcome to uh, this session question us and uh, we will give the glimpse and a uh, uh, little brief about what we are doing. And uh, uh, let me, yeah, uh, uh, brief what we are doing in as organization and what are the tech stack, technology stacks, what we are using and mainly how we do the recruitment, what are the characteristics uh, we looking for, for new joinees and what is, will be the selection criteria it was on the your question uh, questionnaire as well. So um, thank you again, I Triple uh, given this opportunity. Let's start. Yeah. Okay. Let's give a small uh, video. Please let me do let me know whether it's audible or not. Is it audible? Yeah, it's sort of. Yeah, thank you.
Okay. So uh, we started the direct cafe in the year 2000 with uh, nine uh, individuals, uh, uh, six uh, from engineers from uh, Morotu and one from Javadarpura and one from uh, Columbia University. So this is how we started and we proudly say now we have 330 members in our family. Yeah. And this is where are we staying now. So you can see it's a little bit outskirts of uh, Colombo, where the busy city and uh, there is a strategic reason why we moved to Malambi because of the outer circular road where a lot of uh, uh, developers and our employees can access easily, uh, you know, who are coming from, you know, uh, other part of the country uh, to Malabi. So that's why we co-located two years back to Malabi from Colombo. So you can see this is a kind of a, a, a you know, a mini hotel or a boutique hotel. This is what we need, you know, as software engineers, developers, they need, uh, you know, tranquility and uh, uh, the mindset to enhance the creativity. That's the main reason why we selected uh, all in all in inclusive place where our employees can enjoy. Yeah. That's audible, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Thank you. And uh, mainly we are into three domains. One is FinTech, another one is FinCon and FinRec. That is means financial technology, financial content, and financial regulation. So uh, uh, if you uh, know how stock market works, uh, how uh, exchange works, and uh, these are about all fintech, you know. If you, big companies like Bloomberg, Reuters, Merrill Lynch, they are all into fintech. And fincon means, uh, you know, uh, financial content. They are, you, you know, financial analysts, uh, retail investors, uh, you know, institutional investors, they use financial content for the, their analytics and uh, decision making. Financial regulation means uh, some something like anti-money laundering, screening, uh, you know, uh, regulatory perspective of financial. So these are the three uh, solutions, domains via our products are uh, distributed. And uh, let's have a small video what uh, uh, doing uh, again. So guys, this is an example of our one of the product is a mobile uh, product. So by uh, design, we are omnichannel. Omnichannel means uh, it's called uh, you know platform agnostic. That means uh, you can run our products uh, from mobile to tab to desktop, all the platforms, right? So. <clears throat> uh, Whoever joined can decide, you know, they want to be in full stack 
or some developers or engineers they like to do hardcore backend technologies like c++ or java j2w which is the case and some developers like to do front end technology which they can select as well but we do promote full stack uh, you know as of now and this is our technology stack as of, as of now so if you uh, consider you want to become a front end developer then we do have you know uh, uh, angular ember react these are the main uh, uh, and of course we are using dotnet as well uh, 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 as our front end technology stack and for the back end uh, of course we can say we are a java house most of the uh, server base, uh, what we have done is uh, J, either J2SC or J2WE technologies we are using. And for performance incentive uh, server uh, development, we are using C++. And again, since we are in the financial domain, uh, the main database technology is Oracle. Of course, other uh, uh, you know technologies like MySQL, Ignite, Cassandra, H2, we are using for other satellite-based uh, uh, component development. And if you take uh, uh, all the management will happen using our Atlassian product suite, mainly based on Jira, Confluence, and so on. And uh, uh, development uh, tools we are using, uh, you know, uh, Bamboo, Bitbucket, Maven, Git, NPM, and uh, whatever the uh, supporting infrastructure. And if you take our delivery model, pre, uh, you know, like, you know, few years back and now compared to them, we have done full automation uh, from client requirement gathering to end delivery. So we have a very strong CI CD uh, pipeline, continuous integration and continuous delivery, where we uh, automate many things like uh, unit testing, integration testing, uh, mock testing, these things we have automated. And not only that, you can see uh, even documentation, we have done automation using uh, Confluence, we uh, call it uh, fiber in house. And uh, we are using SonarCube uh, for, you know, code uh, inspection. So if you take uh, for end customer, end user, this could be outside client or inside in-house development for product development. From one to 11 until end, everything is untouched. Nobody is doing any manual intervention other than they do the coding and approving things, that's all. So everything automated using CI, CD. We are using uh, mainly Bamboo as our build server. And of course, uh, we are using, uh, you know, uh, other tools uh, for full automation. And of course, uh, we started in Sri Lanka, but uh, now spread along 17 countries around the globe and growing. Uh, as uh, nine developers to 300, uh, 330, only in Sri Lanka, actually, if you take uh, around the globe, our family size is around close to 1,000 now. And of course, uh, we can proudly say we have, uh, you know, around 340s of IT competitors in Sri Lanka, but only four Certified, certified for CMMI level three and one for CMMI level five, which is virtual. Star. And we can proudly say we are out of five, uh, 340, the main three, five companies are only CMMI supportive or certification done. So we are one of them. And the good thing is, so, uh, you know, uh, with CMMI, we have a lot of uh, processes we introduce and life cycle. And uh, this certification we have taken uh, using uh, um, agile technology. So this is a methodology. So you can uh, learn a lot uh, uh, compared to other organization once uh, you are joining for a CMI certified organization. And uh, 
And of course, uh, we introduced this concept. Uh, we never thought, uh, you know, before COVID, uh, we would be able to work from home. But uh, the good part of COVID is now we know we can work from home without diluting our productivity. Yeah. So we uh, introduced uh, the concept called working from anywhere. That means you can work from home, you can work from office. As I shown you, you know, our office is not like a typical office. It's just like a big hotel, you know, uh, and you can work from outside Sri Lanka, it doesn't matter, right? Only thing uh, you have to deliver what we agree on the morning stand-up. So every day we have a stand-up. So next day you have to deliver that and uh, that's all what we need, yeah? So uh, with working from anywhere, uh, in the future also, we will not work 100% from the office. Even, uh, you know, our fuel price issue sorted out, even... Uh, uh, countries working properly still we maximum we will work from office only three days two days we will work from home so this is advantage in uh, with direct FN. and of course uh, due to inflation and other things uh, we are not letting our employees down so we always expect the uh, you know uh, for last, uh, from the in, uh, inception of this year, we pegged our salaries to USD. Very competitive rate, data. So uh, you and your families, will, uh, you know, uh, you are taking care, will not have any impact on, sorry, inflation or our uh, currency devaluation issues. Then I will go to another small video. This is related to what we are doing in as a fun time inside our organization. Okay, guys, let's see what we seek from you. Passion, of course, you should be able to, it should be in your blood that, uh, you know, you want to do uh, software development or quality assurance or project management or whatever the track you want to do. It shouldn't be only, uh, uh, driving factor shouldn't be the money only since IT uh, sector is paying high, you know, it's just like an art, you know, if you do, not doing it using your you know a passionate way uh, you cannot uh, be a successful uh, uh, it person uh, in your career and of course dedication that means whatever you commit you should deliver as uh, hopefully a lot of uh, you know teammates are going to come are newcomers hopefully so what you have to do is early part of your career you have to dedicate your full life to build your career especially foundation, fundamentals on uh, software engineering or other aspect of project management, quality assurance, business analysis, etc. 
and a team player of course uh, this is a you know like a football game you know everybody should uh, do their job correctly so if you're not a proper team player uh, results will not be uh, you know as we expect so you have to be a good team player these are the main three characteristics even we seek in order to recruit a candidate and it's time for your question you shared many questions so we sell randomly selected few for answer uh hashini how we are going to do this shall i explain what we are expecting this question here or uh, somebody is asking this uh no ron they said that they have sent us the questions that the candidates have selected so we can answer those answer those okay thank you what are the requirements to join company as a software engineer? As I explained to you earlier, three facts, you know, passionate, dedication, team player. If you have these three, of course, you are through. Yeah. And of course, to uh, be uh, become a software engineer, you need to know the foundation or the fundamentals you should know. For example, uh, uh, in order to develop a small uh, application nowadays very easy you can download libraries there are many uh, open source libraries you download and combine and you deliver something yes results are there but not to the op optimum level to do that you have to have your foundations correct at least you should be able to do the master one language properly to the depth then you can the, uh, learn other languages easily yeah what are the basic qualifications to enter an, the IT industry? Okay, uh, four or five years back, we recruited only IT, I mean, only graduates who completed their degree, bachelor's. So uh, for direct FN is three years plus. But uh, after that, uh, uh, the uh, uh, two models we now execute in three models actually, who are graduated and the second thing is who are uh, doing uh, degrees a part-time basis we do hire them where they are working uh, you know doing the degree in the weekends or evening sessions though they can do work uh, during the day so this is one engagement model other thing other one is uh, immediately passing out uh, we are uh, from the schools we are hiring for some universities we are giving a scholarships programs where we hire directly from the a levels and but still they continue to do a degree program but under our sponsorship these are the three models uh, we are uh, adhering but uh, of course uh, they should follow uh, it uh, related uh, degree program is the gp important to be considered in an interview Okay, very tricky question, very good one. And uh, this is the GPA is the killer uh, point where all our students are doing a rat race to get it uh, the higher one first class. But of course, it's not the case. I will tell you why. When we select a uh, you know candidate, we select a balanced one. For example, a class with the middle level maybe second upper, second uh, lower, but it should be a compl uh, complemented by some other work. For example, if they have done uh, hackathons, places, uh, or independently done uh, uh, projects. For example, some students, what they're doing is, during the, their degree program, they are doing uh, inventory control system for a shop. Or oh, small bucks, you know. We encourage those things, you know. So uh, if you are doing those things, if you have track record of two personal uh, developments, this is one. Or else if you have extracurricular activity like, you know, you are, uh, you are a, uh, I mean, a national level player for a small sport or music, whatever. So we aggregate all these numbers so GPA doesn't matter in that time, right? 
that means uh, that uh, person candidate is well balanced person well fit into our culture and organization this is what we are looking for but if the candidate is not having any uh, extracurricular activity not participating on the hackathon not doing any programming uh, himself other than the coursework of course we don't have any other mechanism to filter out candidates other than the gpa right so keep in mind so gpa matters if you don't have any other thing in a, any other mm, uh, you know uh, abilities with you okay okay why should i focus on my soft skill development why as i mentioned earlier who we uh, select they should be able to do uh, be a team player team player means communication first uh, important thing is communication so communication it could be presentation it could be verbal it could be expressions it could be feelings uh, so so many levels in communication come to comes you know so soft skills matter if you are uh, getting angry very quickly you have, have a high temperament guy you are always uh, you know annoying your colleague so teamwork team work will not flourish so that means bad soft skills right so of course in order to flourish in your career you have to develop your soft skills as well how to join a company of course um, uh, uh, there are ways and means that means uh, you can join through career fairs or you can apply through our you can see from our website what are the vacancies available or we are on to top jobs we are into linkedin and uh, you can send your cvs to our hr department they can keep in uh, these cvs in their cv bank and they can do the selections yeah What are the job roles in IT companies? Okay, if you take uh, our organization, uh, we we have software engineering track, quality assurance track, business analytics track, system engineering. Uh, if these are to CICD, DevOps, this track. Uh, these are the main uh, tracks and uh, tracks and project management track. These are the main five uh, pillars we do have. So if you take software engineering, for example. From associate software engineer, software engineer, senior software engineer, associate tech lead, tech lead, senior tech lead, associate of architect, architect, chief, uh, chief architect. So these are the spectrum we are spreading. So based on your experience, uh, you can fit into uh, one of the places in the ladder, or based on your uh, expertise or the abilities, even you can jump through this ladder quickly as possible is all depend on your abilities sometimes we find uh, some software engineers uh, uh, within a one or two years they are su superbly outperforming uh, seniors so they can jump their hierarchy like uh, you know uh, in the school sometimes in the history you know you have double promotions like that way What are the latest content technology in the industry? Yeah. So if you take, uh, it's depend on which flavor you like. You know, of course, if it's Microsoft, then obvious it's a dot and base, uh, you know, a ASPX or something. It's been, or else majority they are now moving uh, towards React, Angular, and Flutter is now picking up heavily. So these are the main front end technologies. Uh, uh, in as an industry but we are into mainly uh, angular m band react and dot net these are the four technologies we prefer we are not into flutter as of now what are the latest front technologies that have high demand high demand of course these days is uh, react and angular what company kind of company uh, things companies expect from front end development which kind of language libraries are expected okay 
if we have to recruit a front-end developer, of course, we expect uh, fundamentals. That means you can easily say I'm a React developer or Angular developer. But if you don't know how to extensively use CSS, CSS3 or whatever, and JavaScripts, then you are not, not a proper front-end developer. Even you are uh, into Angular, React, or Flutter, but still you should be able to handle JavaScript and style sheets. These are the NHTML. These are the main three pillars of front-end development as of now. So you should be able to do the foundation of these things. Then you can learn uh, you know, easily Angular, React, or Flutter. No issue. Yes, how to become a software engineer? Good question. Yes. Or oh, uh, enhance your fundamentals. That means uh, I will take an example, Java. Java means not only simply developing something out of Java, but you should be able to, uh, you know, ha know how uh, fundamental uh, data structures work and how threading works, how you optimize heap, memory, that level you should be able to know in order to become a, so uh, Java, I uh, take, took it as an example only. So to give the gravity of that, it depends on uh, whether you are a web developer or C++, C++ developer, whatever. So you should know foundations, yeah? And teamwork and commitment. So in the software industry, the better you perform, better you reach your uh, goals. How often do you recruit interns? Interns, actually, we do plan. Uh, we have a, normally, we keep around uh, 10 to 12 percent of our ratio, around 10 percent ratio employees are we keep as interns. Uh, this is mainly because uh, uh, you know we have to give something back to the society so it's our social obligation as well and to give exp uh, interns to give good exposure what we are doing is in direct campaign so we keep good healthy 10 percent population uh, as interns in the company and mainly uh, we recruit based on the calendar of the universities we have a hr department says maintaining a, a calendar of uh, when the frequency uh, when uh, you know interns are getting out from the universities so we recruit uh, based on that uh, uh, normally we are not recruiting interns ad hoc basis of always we go with university uh, say, I mean, uh, system cycles. Yeah. How many team members do you have in your company? Yes, we have three thirty in Sri Lanka. Around the world, uh, nine hundred to thousand, closer to that. What training can I expect during uh, after onboarding? Yeah. So what we are doing is uh, initially once we recruit a candidate, we do an induction program for a week. And then we introduce you to the team. Then team will carry out, uh, they have a defined uh, training sessions, uh, especially on product development, and they carry out their session uh, training period. And after that, uh, we uh, not like uh, many companies we are directly involving our new uh, recruiters directly to production uh, product development or the deliveries so and for example even some candidates who join after uh, you know recently within three months we are sending them abroad as well for client uh, related developments yeah so this is how we are doing, very flexible. And uh, due to, I have to say, uh, due to remote working, uh, yes, there is an additional burden on uh, employee or newcomer because uh, we cannot handhold as we are in the office. So there is a, a homework should be done uh, from the candidate as well. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, we came to the last slide. Uh, any other question? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I have a question in the chat. Can I ask? Yeah. Okay, so is it possible to enter software industry if we have a different degree, which is apart from the software engineering, though we have the software-based skills? Yes. Okay, it's possible. I will tell you why. I said you, we are into uh, FinTech, FinTech, and FinCon domain. For FinReg, uh, financial regulation, it's uh, need a lot of uh, a kind of analytics, uh, calculation, these things. For those things, we are actually recruiting um, uh, the you know candidates who are having statistics uh, degrees, even from especially Colombo or Peradeni University. They are they do have good uh, statistics uh, degrees whatever the, even other universities they might have, but I know the, the fact that we have to recruit them as well. There is a uh, reason behind that. Of course, other, but of, if they haven't done mastered uh, software engineering or quality assurance or whatever project management or anything, the only other way is uh, related to do, uh, you know, uh, something, something like statistics degree. So which is, uh, will come very handy uh, with this one. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think that's all the questions we have. So uh, thank you for the wonderful knowledge sharing session. So everyone will be sharing a small poll right now. So please be kind enough to take a minute and give your answer to the question that appears on your screen. Okay, uh, now we have come to the end of our session. Thank you all for joining us today. Hoping to see you all in our future session. Stay safe and have a good night. Thank you, guys. <laughs>